The truth about Vladimir Putin and the true image of Jesus Christ. But the time is coming, indeed. It's here now when true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. The Father is looking for those who will worship him that way. Christ is the visible image of the invisible God. He existed before anything was created and is supreme over all creation. A universal center for renovation presents historical and biblical Israelites. This video is strictly for educational purposes and commentary. This video is of biblical and secular historical literature. So enjoy. Recently, a video on social media went viral. The video contained an image of Vladimir Putin, president of Russia, giving a gift, an Easter gift to his soldiers, an icon. The icon contained an image of Jesus Christ, apparently very dark complexioned. The original video of President Putin conversing with his soldiers was in the Russian language. And so the content creators of that video decided to translate that video into the English language. And this is where all the trouble seemed to have started. According to the content creators of that video, President Vladimir Putin was telling his soldiers that Jesus Christ was a black man. That video instantly gained global attention, considering who made that statement. Vladimir Putin, leader of Russia, is considered an international global leader. The only equivalent of that statement or the fact that President Putin would make such a statement would be President Joe Biden making a statement to the American public telling them Jesus Christ was a black man and is a black man. And so, of course, a news agency like Reuters would fact check that video. Fact check. Video does not show Putin saying Jesus was black. The video of Russian President Vladimir Putin presenting an orthodox icon to military commanders in April 2023 is being misrepresented by posts online that say it shows him saying that Jesus was black. An Instagram post shows the video with the text, Vladimir Putin reveals to the world a secret that Europeans has been hiding from Africans for more than a millennium, that Jesus was black. Vladimir Putin unveils icon of Jesus Christ.
The article says that the icon seen in the video is titled The Savior Not Made by Hands, referred to as the icon of our Lord Jesus Christ, not made by hands by the Orthodox Church in America on its website. A close-up image of Putin presenting the icon was published by Reuters with a caption that says it shows Putin presenting an Orthodox icon to military commanders while visiting the headquarters of the Dnieper Army Group in the Kherson region in Russian-controlled Ukraine. The Kremlin said that Putin congratulated servicemen on Easter and gave copies of icons as a gift. In the video, Putin talks about the icon, how there is also a copy of it and discusses the logistics of giving it to servicemen. He is not heard saying that Jesus was black. Verdict from Reuters? False. The video does not show Russian President Vladimir Putin revealing that Jesus was black. This article was produced by the Reuters Fact Check team. Vladimir Putin reveals to the world a secret that Europeans has been hiding from Africans for more than a millennium that Jesus was black. According to Reuters fact check team, this is false. The article says that the icon seen in the video is titled The Savior Not Made by Hands. A Cairo Poeta, a Cairo Poeta, medieval Greek for made without hand, also called icons made without hands, or Christian icons, which are said to have come into existence miraculously, not created by a human, invariably. These are images of Jesus or the Virgin Mary, the most notable example that are credited by tradition among the faithful are in the Eastern Church. The term is also used of icons that are only regarded as normal human copies of a miraculously created original archetype icons made with no hands the background history such images functioned as powerful relics as well as icons and their images were naturally seen as especially authoritative as to the true appearance of the subject Thought to have been painted originally by Luke the Evangelist. They, therefore, were copied on an enormous scale. And the belief that such images existed and authenticated certain facial types played an important role in the conservatism of iconographic traditions, such as the depiction of Jesus. Sometimes in popular etymology, these icons took on the term or the meaning true icon or true image in fear of a false image remaining strong, such as the image or the false image of Christ by Cesare Borgia the second son of Pope Alexander VI of Rome, which is a false image of Jesus Christ. 
true icon, the true image. The Eastern icons, along with the Russian icons, are part of a 2,000 year old tradition to depict the true image of Jesus Christ. The image, the holy face, was put up as an emblem of the Russian armies, defending them from the enemy. And in the Russian Orthodox Church, there is a pious custom that before entering a church, the faithful read together the prayers in the Troparion, which is a hymn or pious song to the image not made by hands. Icon not made by hands. One of the earliest icons witnessed to by church tradition is the icon of the Savior not made by hands. According to tradition, during the time of the earthly ministry of the Savior, Abgar ruled in the Syrian city of Edessa. He was afflicted with leprosy over his whole body. At this time, report of the great miracles performed by the Lord extended throughout Syria, Matthews 4 and 24. And as far as Arabia, though not having seen the Lord, Abgard believed in him as the Son of God and wrote a letter requesting him to come and heal him. With this letter, he sent to Palestine his court painter Ananias, entrusting him to paint an image of the divine teacher. Ananias went to Jerusalem and saw the Lord surrounded by people. He was not able to get him because of the great throng of people listening to his preaching. So he stood on a huge rock and attempted to produce a painting of the image of the Lord Jesus Christ. Unable, however, to succeed, the Savior himself called him by name and gave for Abgar a beautiful letter in which, having praised the faith of the ruler, he promised to send his disciple in order to heal him from the leprosy and instruct him in salvation. After this, the Lord called for water and a towel. He wiped his face, rubbing with the towel, and on it was impressed his divine image. And so this image or icon is a 2,000 year old tradition still observed in modern times. Yaroslav region, Russia. The Resurrection Cathedral is a Christian church, a monument of church architecture of the second half of the 17th century, located in the city of Tutiv, Yaroslav region, belongs to Russian Orthodox Church Cultural Heritage Site. According to legend, earlier there was a wooden church in the name of Princess Passion Bearers 
Boris and Gleb, son of Vladimir the Great, one of the earliest rulers of what is known today as Russia. And originally this church belonged to a man's monastery. Frescoes of the Resurrection Cathedral, 1652 to 1678, to live Yaroslav Region, Russia. Miracle Working Icon, the Vernacle, the main holy thing of the Resurrection Cathedral. 1652 to 1678, Tutalev, Yaroslav region, Russia. What is a vernacle? The cloth or handkerchief with which Saint Veronica wiped the face of Christ on his way to Calvary and upon which his features miraculously appeared Oxford reference vernacle And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. Revelation chapter 1 verse 15 The biblical evidence a 2000 year old tradition or the fact checkers Who do you believe 